All right, and welcome back to another session of Pellet Tech 101. Let's talk about pellet stove battery backup. Now, most pellet stoves will have AC electrical motors and will require a specific kind of inverter and battery setup in order to operate on DC power. Now, having the ability to operate on DC power is ideal when there are power outages and for remote locations where we may not have AC power. Now, pellet stoves such as the Freedom Independence will have built-in DC motors designed for direct battery connection. The Freedom will utilize 24 volt DC over 12 volt DC, allowing double the power supply, more torque to fight wind, better performance in high altitude installations, and the ability to turn on and off on battery backup while being able to recharge the batteries when AC power comes back on. The Freedom utilizes a built-in converter, allowing it to be able to operate on standard 110 volt AC house current. A pellet stove with DC motors like the Freedom will run at approximately 13 to 14 watts after ignition. Now most AC pellet stoves will run at about 125 to 350 watts after ignition and about 300 to 500 watts during startup. Now, overall, energy consumption will be dramatically reduced from $20 to $30 a month to about a dollar and a quarter a month using a DC pellet stove, such as the Freedom Independence. The most significant advantage between DC and AC powered pellet stoves is going to be the runtime on battery backup. Now, with most AC pellet stoves, we're going to have an average current draw of 2.5 to 3 amps while in operation. With the proper inverter, you can expect your pellet stove battery backup to last for approximately 3 to 4 hours using two 40 amp hour batteries running in parallel, creating 80 amp hours. Higher amp hour batteries will provide a longer runtime. Now, as we look at a DC pellet stove like the Freedom Independence, we can run for 48 hours or longer using two 12 volt 40 amp hour batteries in a series. This creates 24 volt DC power at 40 amp hours. Now, the Freedom also has extended battery options that are available, allowing you to run the unit for a week or even a whole month. As previously mentioned, most freestanding and insert AC pellet stoves are going to use approximately 125 to 350 watts of power during operation and right around 300 to 500 watts during the ignition startup cycle. It's important to note that furnace and boiler models may use significantly more. Now, due to the unique nature of pellet stoves in their operation, we recommend a pure sine wave inverter in the 1000 plus watt range to ensure proper battery backup operation. We also recommend an inverter that can switch automatically from AC to DC and DC back over to AC to ensure that you're never left in the cold. Now, these inverters can be pricey, running in the $700 to $1,000 range. However, they will provide the best performance. Whether you have an AC or a DC pellet stove, we recommend sealed lead acid batteries for backup. Also referred to as a valve regulated battery, an AGM battery, absorbed glass mat, or a gel battery. Normal flooded lead acid batteries can off-gas hydrogen, requiring the batteries to be vented to release the fumes. Normal flooded lead acid batteries also require more maintenance as water needs to be added every so often, periodic equalization needs to be performed, and the specific gravity of the electrolyte needs to be measured on occasion with a hydrometer. A sealed lead acid battery does not require this maintenance and can simply be placed directly behind the stove without worries of spills or ventilation. So in summary, if you are looking for the lowest energy consumption with the highest battery backup runtime, a DC pellet stove such as the Freedom is a no-brainer. If you have an AC pellet stove, you can now weigh out your options with greater insight on the inverter and battery backup runtimes. All right, and that's gonna wrap up today's video. We'll include some reference links in the description below. If you found the video helpful or insightful, definitely give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment down below. If you're brand new to our channel, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, so you never miss another video. As always, we thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you soon.